All right, all right, we at this Reebok Classic Breakout Camp. Man, when you think of breakout, you think of the up and coming, the next to blow. This man has been in this position before when it comes to the rap game, uh, when it comes to just translating that, that, that language from the street to the record, to the studio, to the audience. It's the one, the only Jada Kiss. Uh, man, you, it's, it's easy to do intros for you, man. I feel like yo, <laughs> yo, I can freestyle just off your legacy alone, man. That's a, that's a blessing, you know. It's, a, it's good to have guys like yourself that understand. You know what I mean? You don't just the interviews are not really interviews. You you understand who you up there with. You you understand what they've you know what they've done in their career and it's, it's real genuine. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that because I do interviews all day, every day. And most of them are, you know, BS. Most of them are, you know, yeah, yeah. to the surface, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, well, today, man, we're here, we're talking about basketball. You play a very significant role in uh, this this brand called Reebok. Definitely. And, and its relationship with, with, the, with the consumer and its relationship uh, uh, with sneaker buyers all over the world based on the fact that you were utilized in such a productive way. And I, and I, I say utilized because it was a mutually beneficial relationship mm -hmm. when they brought you on along with the track masters uh, to help bring awareness to Allen Iverson's the A5s and the A6s, right? Mm -hmm. um, you remember that time, man? You remember when you was first approached? Because back then when, when artists did those type of deals, sometimes people frowned on it. Yeah, 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 it was it was still new, you know. It was yeah. it was like reaching, yeah. but um, big shout out to Steve Stout, the commissioner. He reached out him and the track masters, and once they sat down and explained it to me, it, it felt more comfortable. I knew it was going to be something successful, like something that I needed to do. Mm -hmm. Along with Iverson being one of my favorite players, you know what I mean, watching him in Georgetown. Just watching his whole legacy, it was, a, it was like a mutual. We was both fans of each other, yeah. so it made it, it made the bond that much better. It made it that much easier to do the commercial, to do to record the track. Uh huh. The, the track was the beat the, was the screeching of the court. Screeching of the court yeah, with the little drums and song. Drums and the basketball. Yeah. Was, Bouncing was the, the the kick drum. Yeah, you that know, was crazy. did they make the track before you made the rap, or you made the rap to the track? They actually made the track. They made the track first. Okay. And played it for me. Uh huh. And it was, you know, it was easy to rap on. It was, you know, it was. I could see the vision. Yeah. When they hit play on the board or the beat, so that made it. You know, when you when you doing something and everybody's doing their part, it makes it easy yeah, to do. Yeah. Like sitting there with you is is not even work. That's yeah. the same way Stout and you know, Tone laid it out for me, so it was easy. Did you notice, um, like you have you had one audience at that time after that commercial? What, what happened with your audience? Did it grow? Did oh, definitely know? broadened. Definitely made it a broader horizon. You see, you see, Shaq trying to come in here and battle you, Jada. Shaq. Huh? Shaq, he spit a bar, Shaq, come on, he got no, it, still man. do it. You know no, that. He can't said. stop the rain, it's still one of my favorite songs ever. <laughs> ever. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, okay. but um, yeah, it, it definitely got me more fans, it made me a bigger, it broadened my brand, yeah. you know, because they used to hear me freestyle or used to hear me on the radio, mm -hmm. so just to pop out with a Reebok commercial with Iverson, yeah. it was like, Actually got it and actually made it to mixtapes. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. That song, that that commercial was on mixtapes. Yeah. So that just showed you how much the people embraced it and how much they loved it. So it was a beautiful thing. Yeah, we played that on air because it was it was. You might have heard it in the club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you did the uh, commercial for the A Sixes, right? Uh -oh. Iverson rapped on that, right? Yeah, Chuck had some bars on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you write that for him or? Nah, nah, nah. I think they, they, they had it for me. They put it in my ear that I might, they might want me to write his part. But mm -hmm. once, when they went to him, he was like, hell no. Okay. I got my, yeah, yeah. I got my own part. Mm -hmm. So that was good. That, you know, he, his same, that same tiger lioness that he played on the court with, that's how he felt about doing his own 12 or eight bars or whatever mm -hmm. it was. And he did it and he came out good. 
that, that was then. You were you were you were a young lad then. You're a young lad still, um, and you're still with Reebok. Why? Why are you still rocking with Reebok? The checks are never late, and they <laughs> always they always tip the scale. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Um, just always, I was always taught to keep a good relationship and a good rapport with people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When you're doing good business, even when it ain't business, when you meet somebody genuine or you make that connection with somebody, you keep the relationship going. There was nothing to hinder it or, mm -hmm. you know, no dis discrepancies. It's a beautiful thing. Yep. Are you I mean, and Reebok always come through. Yeah, yeah, they do come through. They got a, they got a good thing going here, man. And I think you help solidify the brands like credibility, especially on the street level and even abroad. So man, it's good to see you here, man. You got these shorts on like you about to hit the court or something. Yeah, I mean, or any given time, baby. Okay, any still given like time that? we can lace up. Yeah, you okay. know that. All right, man. Let me get my outfit. <laughs>